well, I got out to visit them, and I, sometimes I, I used to be getting what she was saying. And it's, with the new hearing aids, now there's not a problem. Oh, if I, I know, and I hear things like the birds chirping when I'm walking up and down the road here, and you hear boats off in the distance, you hear engines put putting out in the harbour, you hear all sorts of things that you had lost. I'm Michael Canary, and I'm fortunate enough to be living in Crosshaven. Uh, and I'm well married, 48 years this year, <laughs> and we have children and we have friends. Seriously, like about five or six years ago, but I didn't do anything about it for another couple of years. And then they went away and I got hearing aids, but they were the, the, the inserts, the plastic, and you were very conscious. I got them, and I used to hardly ever wear them, because you were very aware that you, they were in your ear and they were uncomfortable, and I used to have the television blaring, you know? And then I, st I, I started, you know, particularly when the grandchildren, we have a couple of grandchildren, and the, the, the two little lads now, they're li li living in Carrigaline and I cycle up there every day and they used to be talking and I was only getting bits and pieces of what they were saying. I'd say the, 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 the main thing was the grandchildren. That's when I really copped it on that they were saying things to me and, and I, I wasn't getting it and they were looking at me foolish because I wasn't giving them an answer. And I was bluffing, you know, you kind of bluff. You can bluff a certain amount, but then when they got a little bit older, you couldn't bluff anymore. They, they just knew that I wasn't hearing what they were couldn't hear. But with these ones, they were totally different and you didn't even notice that you were, they were in your ear. Oh, they're, 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 they, 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 the little thing is actually behind your ear and the, the, the other bit is inside your ear but it's, there's a, a very soft uh, kind of a rubber head on it and, you, and, and so much so you're supposed to take it out when you're having a shower and a couple of times I went into the shower and forgot that I had them, you know. When you would open the newspaper you could hear the pages crackling. <laughs> Those things like that. It took a while to get used to hearing uh, these songs again that you hadn't been hearing, obviously, you know? Yeah. Uh, the door, the door banging. I was, I was giving out about them banging the door. <laughs> we have, a, we have a, a boat, a rib, a big rib as well for searching. Mostly we're called in after the event. The lifeboat is called first. And again, listen, when you're picking up, if there's a boat out and there's a message coming in off the boat and people don't speak very clearly on the radio anyway, there's there's proper ways to speak and unfortunately people don't and they, they, they rattle away too fast and you can't pick up on it. And then if, you're, if you can't, if your hearing is bad as well, then that's really bad news, like, you know, so it was very important for that. You, you would, it would have been a question of dropping out of it if you couldn't. I, I, I did, a, did a little bit on the, the paper. I'd done a piece on the paper, you know, the, and as a result, of people came along to me and asked me. And a few of my friends actually went away and, and got hearing aids as a result of it. Because I would say to them, oh, it changes your life. There's no two ways about it. Particularly, uh, particularly like a lot of the time now, there's only Alice and myself here. There's two of the lads still living here, but like we're here. And I mean, if if, if you can't have a proper conversation, it is, you know. And then she, she said to me, she was stop saying things to me because I wasn't taking any notice of her anyway. She told me I wasn't taking any notice. I wasn't here and half. <laughs> oh, it, it makes an enormous difference. It, it certainly does. You know, it's like you cut off. You know, a couple of they, they 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 got blocked up. There's a little where the, the microphone or not where where the hearing bit picks up. It, it can get a, a bit clogged, you know, for maybe from dandruff or whatever. And if if you feel no, they 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 show you how to clean them anyway yourself. But if you want to, if you feel there's any bit of a problem, and there was at one stage I felt that the left hand one. Uh, needed and it went back, they adjusted it straight away. 
and there's no problem with batteries or there's no problem with any or they're and they're extremely pleasant to deal with anyway. They're very, very nice people to deal with. Or as I say, from, from just dealing with the girl on the desk or on the phone uh, to uh, the people that would say, Philip, he said, yeah. Um, he, he was, I was dealing with him at uh, getting them. And then there's another uh, lassie there that you deal with. And again, they, 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 they make you feel very comfortable, you know. And as I say, there's no problem, there's nothing, and if you have any bother, don't hesitate to come back or anything.